Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as titled, if you would like to see how I make my custom sewing machine units, stay tuned. <laughs> So this is the thread I used, 100% um, polyester, and I think that's standard when I was researching once I got my sewing machine. Um, I do have the Singer Heavy Duty, I think like 2,600, I don't know, something like that, a uh, sewing machine. Definitely trying to teach y'all how to, you know, thread your sewing machine, but it's a lot of videos I learned from YouTube, so just go YouTube it. So I use my thread, some scissors, some clips. This is just what I have on standby. Um, a brush and some combs just in case your bundles get tangled up and obviously your bundle sis. So just like you would or just like I would uh, double up my tracks to fit all three bundles in, I am sewing it instead of hand sewing. I don't even know how I was doing that honestly back in the day because sewing machine just makes it 20 times easier. So that's all I'm doing. I don't layer them like on top of each other. I lay them like right next to each other so they lay flat. And you can like quadruple weft or something like that I've heard of. I don't do that. I just do double like this sis and it works for me. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going into your wig. So if you look in that detail, something is wrong, you know. So this is the dome cap I am using right now. It's the mesh ones. Um, I usually use the Q-Fit dome mesh dome caps but this is the only way I can get in quarantine and right now I'm transferring my clients measurements to the dome cap so for closure units like if you were to google it they're gonna give you like six measurements the only ones that really matter for closure units is the circumference which is the size of your dome head your nape which is your kitchen and then the front to back um, from your hairline to your nape and you just sew on the closure how you would normally like I use nylon thread first just to ensure and just so it's not like pulled back if that makes sense like while I'm using the sewing machine because your your wig does tighten up your cap tightens up on the sewing machine so just be mindful of that when you're doing measurements like I like to leave like half an inch of leeway maybe a whole inch of leeway just because I know it's gonna get tightened up so I sew this down with nylon thread first flat and then I go hit it again with the sewing machine to like ensure it okay so so here I'm measuring out how many like how far apart I want my tracks to sit and I'm gonna be honest with y'all I still have not sat down and really like counted so I can have like a standard number every time because I think she, my client had like two and a half bundles so I kind of ran out and I had to like move some like pieces around do some magician work um but I just measured them out like an inch apart and I usually use like a white Sharpie, which I wouldn't even recommend that. I would say like a white paint pen or, but all I had on hand was a white color pencil. And it works, it works just fine, you know. Um, so now I'm just sewing on the tracks. And this, as you can see, I'm pulling that button down. It's going to back stitch, which gives it more security when you're stitching. Um, so it kind of like runs it back and forth under the needle. So it's like, like back stitching. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so just watch me sew this. have sewn all your tracks on and you are now ready to style that's like literally it y'all like it takes it took me probably like an hour and a half two hours maybe to make a wig when I first got my sewing machine but now it takes me like all if I prep my you like my hair and everything and I do everything before I actually go on to sew on the tracks onto the dome head and style it takes me like 40 minutes max I mean maybe an hour I don't know anyway um so right now I am just playing with the closure usually you could just do this last but I just like to so it doesn't look crazy I don't know why I do it first it's really no rhyme or reason but I like to section off the sides of my I'm trying to explain this right so I section off a little piece of the closure that will cover up the last track and I flatten it down um, so you can't see that last track like it just it's like my anxiety or not in my anxiety But just like a little bit of you know OCD. I don't like to see the last track. So I do that first um, Since this is a bob unit. I sectioned off the bang not about the bang a bang unit a bang bang units um, Section off the bangs 
first and laying the sides flat just because I like the way that looks versus like when it, there's like no part I don't like that so I sectioned off to make it look more natural more real because you would have a real part in your real head if you had real banks um and I'm using my foam mousse my, my mousse foam my phone my mousse whatever uh to kind of flatten it and you just use as much as you need to mold it and once you mold it it's not impossible to like move apart but it just gives you a good foundation throwing up uh, a wig cap just to uh let it sit in place and i went to bed and i came back the next morning and it looked like this So as you can see, I cut long first because you cannot get the length back. And it's so crazy because I still messed up, y'all. Like, I should have left the side pieces long because that's what she wanted. I still, like, finessed it a little bit, but I just should have went about it differently. But regardless, um, I went in and I just started straightening the hair. As you can see, this hair is very pretty. Uh, I think it's Maven hair, which I'm not really exactly sure how Maven hair works, but I know she got it from, like, a Maven company, a Maven brand ambassador, or something like that. So right now I'm just styling the hair at this point. Like everything is good to go. Um, I did leave the bangs longer because I want them to be styled on her head and like fit her head. Um, so they are a little longer, but they look cute on a dome head, and we just need it for pictures. So that is basically how I created this cute little unit. Um, thinned the bangs out a little bit, made it you know cute for what it is. And that is basically how I do it, sis. Oh, and I put the, put the part. Anyway, all right, sis. Uh, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments, something y'all want to see, another type of wig. I will have a unit on sale in the next couple of weeks on my business page at Laid in Lux. Go visit me. See you on my next video. Bye. <laughs>